Let's now continue to explore the Smart Retopple Toolset update in 30 Goat 2023 by focusing on the quadrangulation mode here in the Tool Options panel. With that selected, I can use it in a variety of different ways. One of those is to bridge between individual groups of polygons like we have here. To start off with, I'll click on this vertex and drag to the other one in order to create a boundary, and then I can hit the Enter key to create a preview, and I can also see the numbers of the segments on each end. If I'm happy with the preview, I will hit the Enter key a second time. If we hold down the Control shift hotkey combination, we can use the Split Rings tool temporarily in order to add some new geometry, but we could also do the opposite by reducing the number of polygons in the other polygon group. To do that, let's temporarily switch to the Delete Edges tool. If we want to delete an entire edge loop, we can hold down the Control key and left mouse click. So I can do this to every other edge loop if I want. Okay, so that's one way we could approach it. But I think we're okay by keeping the polygon count where it is. We'll just add a little bit more here by going back to Smart Retopo, holding down Control Shift. And now I can try to left mouse button click and drag to this vertex. And then perhaps connect these. So now I have a, an equal number of edges to connect. And I don't need so many spans. I'll hit Enter. Next, I'll proceed to sketch a new boundary. And then hit the Enter key to generate a preview. Can bump up the segments just a little bit. Okay, so I probably need one here. So I can double click to create a new control point and that gives me a new edge to connect here. So that looks good. I'll hit the Enter key. If adjusting the number of view spans does not necessarily give you the results you're looking for, you can also adjust the crease angle to help as well. I will hit enter. Rather than switching to the brush tool outright, I can stay in Smart Retopo and just temporarily invoke the brush tool by hitting the B hotkey. I will come outside the mesh, right click and drag to increase my brush size, then just tap the B key. Now I can hold the shift key, which will let me smooth with the brush. Keep balance while smoothing and uncheck that so I can smooth the boundary. Okay. When I am finished using the brush tool temporarily, I can just tap the B key once again to disengage from it. To bridge this small gap, all I have to do is create a single sketch line and then hit the Enter key, and then the Enter key once more. Let's now draw a sketch line down the middle and see what kind of preview we get. Now, this is where Alternative Select comes into play. If it selects one side and you want the other, you can always choose that by clicking it. And then I can hit the Enter key to get a preview. I can tweak the settings a bit, and when I'm happy with a preview, I will hit the Enter key to generate the polygons. Now I'll do a little bit of house cleaning by doing a symmetrical copy. I can hit the S key to bring up the symmetry panel, and then uh, copy that over. Oops, let me undo. Change the, the mirror. Copy that over. And as I finish up in the front, we will conclude this video and series about the newly updated Smart Retopo tool set. I hope you found it helpful. Thank you for watching, and we will see you in the next video.